What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Higher Bunch of Fire Bunches. My name is Rom. And I'm back to where I'm supposed to do. Always. <laughs> Help you guys for any job application, job interview preparation, and tips and hacks and all that stuff. So, hey, welcome back to my channel. And um, for any of you who... Oops, just had an accident. But anyway, so for any of you who's who's not um, seeing this or watching today's episode on YouTube channel, please let me know. And this is a um, this is my channel name. And um, please feel free to go on YouTube and search for my YouTube handler, Fire Bunch and Higher Bunches, right here. So yeah, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Um, well, today we're going to have um, another interview with Giants uh, episode, but pretty much uh, it's kind of it's kind of surprising and controversial uh, content, which I I have been doing for quite a quite a few times. <laughs> if you guys remember for uh, previous couple episodes. Um, so anyway, so first of all, I want to say, hey, congratulations to all of us. I mean, both me and you guys. Uh, for 400 subscribers threshold um, by the time you guys can see this episode um, yay okay let's get some congratulations video right here ah. <laughs> so for um, 400 subscribers um, I need to thank you all of you guys to support me and and all that good stuff uh, it's been it's been a year I never expected I dream about it, but I never expect for this quick. But hey, thank you guys. Um, so I'm gonna talk about a little bit of background story. But for any of you guys want to see the content, just jump right jump. Feel free to jump to the chapter for starting off today's topics. Oh, and by the way, make sure you guys um, make sure you guys check my social media handler down below. I think it's a. Uh, um, it's a LinkedIn. Oh, I'm sorry. No LinkedIn. <laughs> it's uh, Twitter and my Instagram. Okay. I have down some little bit improvement from Instagram. Uh, Instagram. So make sure you guys check my IG. But long for sure, for today's episode, it's going to be OnlyFans Girls interview. I picked up two of the interviewers um, that has been interviewed by some, um, I would say, either uh, big channels or a big YouTubers. Um, they are not professional interviews. Disclaim: They are not professional interviews. But and also, I am not going to comment. Okay, um, if whatever they've been doing, whatever those girls been doing, wrong, right, uh, morally, no moral compasses. Okay, or what you should be doing, or what they should be doing. Or if you, you, you have to follow them or you have to disagree with them. No, no, no beef, no comments, no complaints. Okay. What I will be doing is purely analyzing what they do, how they do to deliver their answers to uh, interview questions. Okay. I, I basically have three interview questions pick up from these two interviews for the OnlyFan girls. So, love for sure. Uh, let's get on it. Okay, let's get on it. Let's do the first one is uh, the girl's name is Emily. Okay, the girl's name is Emily. And um, I have, uh, let's do a little bit. All right, Emily. Yes. Emily, uh, where'd you grow up? Where are you from originally? Okay, so that's what it is. And, and this is where it's from. Uh, no copyrights I own. And I have the subtitle on. So make sure you guys check on it. Um, so this is, I think this is on average successful OnlyFans, or you call successful OnlyFans girl. Um, we'll have play a little bit of in the uh, you know beginning for background stories. I'm from a small town in Texas called Sour Lake. Um, it's sort of near Houston. What's your family like? Yeah, I've been there. Fun, cute family. My mom and dad are divorced. Uh, my mom was married to someone that did make my childhood difficult. Um, their relationship was quite difficult. And so there was a lot of fighting and stuff going on, but still love him, still love her. Me and her are very close. My dad was like one of my best friends. We did everything together. We played sports. We did everything. And I have a younger brother and an older sister. 
And never- All right, let's jump right into the question. Uh, the first question I want you, I wanted to share with you guys, is one of another common question. So basically, tell me about your job, current job, or if you apply to a new job while you lay off. So tell me about the previous job, something like that. Like videos or photos or. Yes, so I do video. Yes, exciting. So, so you're shooting like videos or photos or. Yes, so I do videos and photos. I um, do have nudity on my page. So, I'm going- so he's asking, um, by asking a formal question, he's literally um, taking out this question by asking what she's doing, okay? And she's basically answering the question, uh, starting confirming what he was asking. Girls don't. You really don't have to. Some girls go really hardcore with it and have explicit things on their page. Um, I do that separately selling content. But not on my main wall. On my main wall, I just have sort of videos getting ready, topless. Um, let's see, videos. You know, just doing household things. Like people like that. It's it's really cool. Um, sexy photos that I feel amazing and beautiful in, and that other people want to have access to, and they can't publicly online. So you tell me your boyfriend helps you. Good job. So, uh, so we can as we can see that. Um, the way she answered the question is basically first go uh, get an overview, uh, right? So first of all, she's getting overview of what she's been doing at the job. And then she tell them a little bit details, but not overall. Deeply, a little bit like surface. In the meantime, she also uh, take an example of what other people in the same industry was doing. Okay, so we have a little comparison uh, to what she's been doing and to what other people been doing is she given a better answer well your call and just like i said a little bit teasing and um so that's basically what her answer and this reminds me of my previous video which i did uh tell me about yourself how to introduce yourself so i'll put link below and then we can go to the next question uh i think it's right Right somewhere here. What advice would you give to somebody who's thinking about doing this? Okay, so what advice are you gonna give? What's your career advice? What you have learned? Uh, what you should have changed? Let's see how she answered that. For a career. If someone was thinking about doing this for a career, I would say, like, go for it. It's a lot more work than people think it is. It is a lot more work. You definitely do have to be on your stuff when you do it. But if it's something that people are thinking about, I really think that you should go for it. I think that it can totally turn your life around and change your life. And that, yeah, just go for it, honestly. And go just all in with it. But at, at your comfort level, obviously. But And save money for taxes. And save money for taxes. For sure do that. Yes. Very good, Emily. Uh, that's about her. So the second question is very easy. Um, what you learned. What you should have been doing. Um, this also really re- reminds me of one of my previous video about what you ha- should have changed if you have another opportunity for your college. So link below, you guys can check it. But um, I think she has a very clear picture of this answer and structure. Um, basically, um, I think she says what she's learned, right? Taxes, that's the funny part. Uh, but the other part is cura- uh, encourage and uh, you know dedication if you've been asked the same question i would say um the way she answered that is pretty much the same i'll recommend it to you guys all right let's see the second interview um i think that this is a shorter version uh videos um but i like this interview better because um let's see Brandy Andrews, welcome to my house, and let's talk OnlyFans. OnlyFans has exploded in popularity since we were all locked in our houses in 2020. Many creators are earning millions of dollars by posting content. All right, thank you for giving us some backgrounds of OnlyFans, but I'm pretty sure you guys can check it. Um, I only picked up one question from this girl. And, well, good thing is that this guy has a chapter. So after I posted the link below, uh, I think you guys can check it. Right, you guys can check it. So the very end, the only question I picked is how much you make. 
22. How much money do you make on OnlyFans? <laughs> I have just achieved the six figures a month range. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. Were you making this at your previous job? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I started back in 2019 before, like, COVID hit and really blew OnlyFans up. And I wasn't trying very hard. I was bartending at the time, and I was just kind of like, let me see what I can do. And I was probably making five grand a month, you know, which was nothing to, like, be disappointed about. But it wasn't like I'm going to quit my job kind of thing. And I wasn't, I definitely wasn't thinking, like, I could retire off this. or It was just extra income. And then when COVID hit, you know, numbers blew up even more. And then once I really started putting all my time and effort and energy into it and actually did quit the bar industry, um, and I saw what I was capable of. I've nice. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll stop right there. Um, interesting. So the way she answered the question is also very common ways that I recommend it. So she so basically didn't review the number. Like, oh, I, I make like $6,000 or a thick thousand hundred thousand dollars or she just said okay the range is six figures in a month or in a year i didn't catch that but and uh she also gave a little story background story about uh, why she chooses this career or why she thinks uh this is a very good payment range right and um and also given a compressed comp comparison about why this current job only fans girls is better how is giving me better life to comparing to the previous job uh i believe which was a bar industry so interesting and this this question also re, you know re, ring a bell of my previous um video that i'm talking about what is your salary expectations or what's your what was your salary um in your previous job so link below you guys can check it all right guys so uh Two girls, two OnlyFans, two girls, two interview, and three questions. I hope you guys like it. Oh, by the way, for the free giveaway opportunities, I added one more stuff. Um, besides you guys leaving your comments below for the most difficult question you ever had in job interview or job application, of course, I'll pick one or two of you guys and answer the question in a video. I also like to have free consultation one-on-one, -on -one, private or private. Uh, in a video streaming or whatever upon your request I take any uh, open to any request and related to my channel to my content or to myself so yeah okay like dislike just comment or if you like subscribe and share and I'll see you when I see you for the next episode peace out peace out peace out